Hello and welcome to Gardening with Ben. Here we're going to give you some vlogs on what we have been getting up to on the allotment on our 21 days off. So stay up to date, click that subscribe button and you'll see what I'm doing over the next 21 days. Let's get cracking today. Like I said, we've got 21 days off. We are going to be absolutely cracking on. We're getting everything sorted now, ready for the massive year ahead. And I've got so much to plan today. I keep buying new stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Gardening with Ben episode. So first off, we're going to be planting some new fruit. What we've got for the plot, we've got some red kiwis, which can grow up to 40 foot long. We've got some green kiwis, and we've got some figs as well. So we're going to start off by getting those planted. So this is the first one, which is a red kiwi. Look at them. They look absolutely fantastic. These are a new variety. So these grow like a vine. So we're going to plant these down the side of the plot and hopefully trail them all the way along down the side. So this is the red kiwi. It looks absolutely healthy. Really, really good. So we're going to get that in the ground and get it growing so that is the first one planted so it's a case of just getting it nice and watered and getting it all growing well i've fastened it up and it's going to be a case of keeping it fastened to the fencing as it starts to grow and get going and that's the second one in and they're all fastened up that rolling to wind that one so i've had to untangle it all and re-fasten it all up together so next up we have got normal kiwis and these are self-pollinating so you need to make sure of that when you're planting kiwis but we have got, got two of them as well so we're going to get them planted. They don't look as healthy as the red ones but once they're in the ground and we start watering them and looking after them hopefully they'll get growing really really good. So that one is now planted so we just need to plant the next one. So now we have planted our kiwis, I'm going on to planting some nice cheap plants which I got from Tesco, reduced from £5 to 50 pence. I'm always looking for bargains, every day I go in Tesco and see what plants are reducing as that is where you get all the bargains from. And these are Hurachucha, I can never say the words, I'm no good at saying words, so yeah. Uh, so these are going to go in the top of my plot. It says place in full sun to partial shade in fertile, well-drained soil. So yeah, and they can cope with frost as well. So we're going to be planting these. We've got five of these all together. Uh, I've tried to get some different colours. They look a bit scraggly at the moment uh, because they didn't get much light in the Tesco. They were hidden under the trolley. So hopefully once they're planted and they get growing, they'll look really good. So these are them. I've got a purple one and then I've got a few green ones as well. So let's get them in the ground. So I've got them in the ground. And like I said, they do look scraggly at the moment, but hopefully once you get growing and get some light to them, they'll hopefully start to look good. So we've got the kiwis planted. We've not planted the figs yet I need to get them sorted but now I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to be planting my marigolds and petunias what I bought really really cheap from Tesco uh, don't necessarily follow me because they can get damaged if you get frost so I'm taking the risk I've looked at the temperatures for the rest of the month and they look fine so I'm going to take the risk and get them planted while I can so these are all the marigolds as you can see they're looking absolutely fantastic i gave them water got them back to life and yeah let's get them out in the garden and these are the petunias so hopefully we will have lots of color this year on the plot so i've been planting all the marigolds all around the plot looking absolutely amazing should certainly add some color but again don't follow me because if the frost comes it will kill them off and we planted some down the borders as well with petunias dotted around 
in between to make it all look really, really good. Hopefully, we'll be getting a lot more flowers in these borders. But yeah, look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. Adding plenty of colour to the plot. And then I've got them all around this veg flat, uh, fruit area, not flower area. And then I've also put some in my guttering as well. Still got a few more flowers to get in there. But obviously they will dry out a lot faster in there. So if you're growing stuff in guttering, make sure you keep it watered because it will dry out. I just need to get some ends on the end. I've had to put plant pots on the end to stop all the compost from running out at the moment. But yeah, look at that. So next up, I'm gonna be planting my geraniums. I put them in the shed over winter to keep them safe from the frost and from the cold and to keep them alive. So now I can plant them back outside. But again, if you've got a chance of frost near you, do not plant your geraniums outside yet as the frost will kill it. So let's get them planted. So I've got all the geraniums in this new border, what I've been doing. So yeah, hopefully they'll all grow and that one's got a flower on it. <laughs> Just need to get them watered now. It's gonna absolutely chuck it down tonight. So that's a good sign. Hopefully it'll water things in well, but hopefully the sluggies don't come out and attack all the new marigolds. So yeah, another job done. While watching this video, please click that subscribe button and click the bell button and you'll get updated whenever we upload a new video and thanks for supporting gardening with ben now back to the video next up is a spot of painting what we need to get done and hopefully we'll get it dry before the rain comes because it is going awfully dark it is forecast for later on tonight but hopefully we can get a coat on and then a second coat on tomorrow so let's have a look so this is a fence that i'm painting what I've started and hopefully down that side as well as you can see I've got forest green paint on it just makes it look nice that's sage I put an undercoat of sage on first because I'd run out of forest green but yeah well let's get the paint on before the rain comes so I've got the first coat on it definitely needs another coat and then it'll look fantastic but yeah certainly coming along we just need to put the fencing up along the back and that's hopefully all the fencing to do so now that we've put our first layer of paint on we're going to come in the shed for a bit and we're going to do some potting on because i really do need to start doing that so let's get cracking and see what we're doing today so first i'm going to be potting up my moneymaker tomatoes and also my prince p I can't even read my own writing, but them ones. <laughs> so yeah, we've got plenty in there in each one. So we won't be using them all, but we'll give some away to my plot neighbors. So let's pot some up. So I've potted up two of my types of tomatoes. I've done that. I've also potted up some courgettes. I've also potted up some artichoke, which I've never grown before. It's new to me. So I'm looking forward to that. And also some butternut squash, which is absolutely delicious. So yeah, we're getting some stuff done. Still lots more to do, all of that. Which is gonna take 21 days while I'm off. But yeah, we'll get through it, we'll get through it all. So thanks for watching this day one of 21 day vlog down at the allotment. While I'm off on work, I'll be sharing every single day what I'm getting up to. So make sure you stay tuned, click that subscribe button, click the bell button, and leave a comment, leave a like, and let me know what you think of it. So until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep gardening, and keep listening to Gardening with Ben.